I'm Dr. Biduk Senadira, one of the consultant obstetricians and gynecologists. Without busy life schedules, we might have forgotten healthy ways of living. BMI. BMI is quite important. We need to prepare for a pregnancy at least for three months to prepare our bodies for that. The BMI, the importance of it is stressed so many times. The healthy BMI range would be 18 to 25. If you are a lady whose BMI is less than 18, there is a chance you may not be ovulating properly, you might not get pregnant easily, and even if you get pregnant, there is a risk of miscarriage, slight increment, and there is a risk where your baby would have low birth weight. Opposite side, if you are a person who is in the category of overweight or being obese, being more than 25, there is a risk of developing diabetes, high blood pressure and all the other medical conditions. You may have higher risk of miscarriages, you may have higher risk of preterm labor, less likely to deliver vaginally, may need a cesarean section. So all of these things might have to be thought of. So if there is a possibility, you always need to be concentrating on your body weight. How to do this? The important question. There's only two ways. One is looking after your exercises, regular exercises, and the other one is healthy diet. Exercise, a very important concept for a person who's awaiting a pregnancy. You should engage at least 30 to 40 minutes a day. Aerobic exercises, the calorie burning exercises. That will normalize your blood circulation, that will normalize your hormonal systems, that would help your ovulation and ultimately to get into a successful pregnancy. This is not only important for the female partner, it's always very important for the male partner as well. The reason is with it might increase your testosterone levels in the body and it will normalize and it will improve your quality of the sperms and the spermatogenesis process. All of this will lead to a healthy pregnancy. Talking about your food, it's always best to engage in a balanced diet. If you are a person who's taking excess salt, excess sugar, excess fats, excess carbohydrates, you might need to cut down on these things and try to focus on a balanced diet with proper amount of minerals, nutrients and vitamins as well as proteins.